As we discuss with Ber Senator Bernie Sanders, college debt is a huge problem in our country. Roughly two-thirds of students finish school owing nearly $30,000. Sanders is not alone in his call for free public college. Many of the 2020 presidential candidates have started laying out their own plans. As those ideas take shape, a number of states and cities are creating their own plans to provide grants and money for the very youngest to ensure that they can eventually go to college. Hari Srinivasan has a story for tonight's Making the Grade, and it's part of a special series on Tuesdays this month about rethinking college. <laughs> Just days old, this newborn has already started saving for college. Under a new Pennsylvania program, every baby born or adopted in the state is given a college savings account with $100 in his or her name. That $100 is invested in our 529 account and will grow over time. So 140,000 kids a year are born in Pennsylvania? Yep. The accounts so the are the brainchild of Pennsylvania State Treasurer Joe Torcella. The new program called Keystone Scholars is an effort to help future students cope with skyrocketing costs of college. Over the roughly 30 years, the cost of higher ed has gone up in this country about 300 percent while the median family income has basically not budged. According to the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, Americans owe $1.46 trillion in student debt. Treasurer Torcella says Pennsylvania's student debt burden is particularly troubling. I love my state. I'm a proud Pennsylvania. I love it when I can say we're number one, except when the thing we're number one in is college debt. We currently lead the nation in that. Our average graduate has about $36,000. Hi! <gasps> Born January 18th, Charlie Ross was one of the first babies to benefit from the statewide program. Kristen Dressler is Charlie's mom. It was something I wish my parents had done for me when I was like a baby, and I think it's a really good idea. Pennsylvania is betting that parents will be less likely to delay saving for college if accounts are automatically created at birth. There's a time when a child's born that you always remember for the sense of magic and possibility. Life quickly takes over with all kinds of demands. And we wanted to do something at that moment when people are looking at their newborn or the, their newly adopted child, and they had the widest horizon and the widest sense of those possibilities. You're smiling. Dressler took out a loan to pay for her first two years of college and will take out more to complete her degree. She wants an easier path for her son's education. I'm hoping that he doesn't have to worry about that. But if the average debt load in Pennsylvania for college graduates is $33,000, can $100 really make a difference? That $100 grows to $400, and if they deposit $25 a month from the time that child is born in an account with it, they'll have more than $10,000 by the time that child reaches uh, 18. Pennsylvania's new accounts are funded through surplus earnings from the state's existing 529 college program. You know which ones are nickels and which ones are pennies? Like all 529 accounts, the money is earmarked for education. If an individual wants to use the funds for other purposes, they face tax consequences, and any money the state contributed is returned to a general fund. Pennsylvania is not alone. Plans to help families save for college are popping up around the country. In San Francisco, every child, when they enter public school, gets a new bank account with $50 in it. So far, they've opened more than 33,000 accounts in their kindergarten to college program. Are you guys excited for your field trip today? Yeah. Um, where are we going again? To the At San Francisco's William Cobb Elementary School, teacher Joyce Melicaton prepares her kindergarten class for a field trip to the bank. We're going to the bank because you have to deposit money for what? College. College, okay. And if you start saving now, then you'll be ready for college. On this day, kindergarten students were joined by San Francisco Treasurer Jose Cisneros at Citibank, a partner in the program. We put $50 in your account. You already have money saved for your college education. $50 is not much, but Treasurer Cisneros says creating an early perception about going to college is just as important as creating actual wealth. What matters less is how much money is in the account. And, or, or what the income of the family is. It's all about building aspirations in this student's mind and making sure they know this is an option that's available for them. I'd like to make a deposit. To my college savings account. To my college savings account. Do you need to give her the money and the deposit ticket? Right? Half of San Francisco's public school students come from low-income families. And while all students receive an account, 
Cisneros hopes to engage to families college, less likely to attend college. Just engaging with that account, going to the bank, making deposits, talking about it at home, maybe talking about it with, with friends, t sends a signal that says, oh, I've got a college savings account. Why? Because I'm going to college. And for many kids who don't have that in their childhood, that kind of conversation, that kind of influence, it, it turns out not being something they think is available to them. But so far, only 20% of families in San Francisco have made additional deposits in their child's kindergarten to college accounts. Professor Bridget Madrian is an expert on family savings and the dean of Brigham Young Marriott School of Business. Parents who are actually contributing money is, is pretty low, so it, it's going to take more than just automatic. You guys will each can turn the wheel to see how we lock oh. the door. Madrian says automatic savings accounts set up for things like retirement have been hugely successful when tied to payroll deductions. Amazing. But she's less confident that automatic college accounts will work when families are asked to make contributions on their own. Households have a lot of things for which they probably should be saving, and uh, short-term financial needs may be taking precedence over longer-term needs, like saving for your children's college. Can anybody say safe deposit box? The annual cost of San Francisco's program is three-quarters of a million dollars. Is it more effective to direct those same financial resources that are coming from government to <sighs> early kindergarten readiness programs, smaller class sizes in K through 12. Which one gives you more bang for the buck, I think is still a very open question. As for the William Cobb Elementary students, the most popular future career cited on this field trip, superhero. So what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, superhero. Six-year-old Javier Ochoa said he wants to be Batman when he grows up, but he also got the message of the day. And I'd like to make a deposit. Yeah. In my college savings account. In my college savings account. Here's your receipt. Okay. Say thank you. Thank you. I want to get money for college. Say so can learn more things. And say so can learn when you want to grow up. For the PBS News Hour, I'm Hari Srinivasan.